Oh, it's on. I'm Ronnie, and I'm here to teach you some slang, because that's what I do. <laughs> it's on, though. It's on. What's on? Check. Is it on? Is it on? Uh, today's slang lesson is about on. So, probably your TV is on, your laptop is on, your phone is on. We never really turn our phones off, do we? So, whatever you're watching me on, Hello, huh? Get ready for some slang. Woohoo! Um, <clears throat> it's on. So literally, this means that something is has power to it. Well, so for example, I can say the oven is on. It's the opposite of off. Um, I just happen to have this this thing here, and I have a light on top of the hand. So the light is on. Quite literally, I can turn it off. Okay, I I I, can, I did. I turned it off, and I can turn it on. So I can say, the light is on or it's on. But in slang, if I say it's on, it's provocative. It means I want to start a fight with you. Oh, oh, I don't. But that's what it means in slang. So you will hear this in movies like, oh, it's on, bro, bro. It's on. Bring it on. It's on. Bring it on is also another way to like, let's start a fight or start some kind of a battle. Um, so if someone says, oh, it's on, you're like, oh, 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 it's on. It means they want to fight you. So I don't know, run, try to have a conversation with them, you know, literally. If something's literal, literally, it means this is the the meaning of it. And then we have the slang meaning. So. It's on. The slang meaning means you're going to start a fight, as I described. But if something is literal, like literature or literally, you guys know this, especially from Brazil. Where's the book? The book is on the table. It's on the table. I can say the hand is on the table. The candle or the, the fake candle, the light is on. And it's also on the hand as a preposition. The opposite of off is on. Have you left the oven on? Have you done that? I did that. I was on a long bike ride. Beautiful. Amazing. And all of a sudden I was like, oh, oh, I think I left the toaster oven on. I had to drive an hour back home and I didn't leave the toaster oven on. I had turned it off. But I didn't want my house to burn down, didn't want my dog to die. So, yeah, no, it's not a good memory. Let's continue. Um, if you're going someplace, maybe you're at a restaurant or you're going to get a couple drinks or somebody says, it's on me. And you look at them and go, no, you, you physically don't have anything on you. You're, you're clean. You didn't slop anything on you. But if someone says, it's on me, this is a good thing. It means that this person is going to pay. So let's say you go out for dinner and somebody says, oh, you know, Ronnie, don't worry about it. It's on me. <laughs> Ronnie's happy. Like, yes, I don't have to pay for this dinner. Perfect. Or you go someplace and somebody says, oh, the drinks are on me. And like, but they're not on your head. It's not literal. They're not literally on someone's head. It means they're going to pay for you. This is wonderful. <gasps> Don't worry. These drinks are on me. But they're not sitting there like this. Oh, the drink's on me. It's, it's not. It just means they're going to pay. Um, it also can talk about possession, what you have. So somebody might say, oh, okay, oh, well, I'd like to buy this. Oh, but you know what? Because I'm old and I carry cash, I say, oh, I don't have any money on me, means I physically, I'm not holding any money, I don't have money, I'm not possessing money, because now everyone uses a card, right, a cash card, a debit card, a credit card, um, oh, no, I don't have my wallet on me, it means I'm not in possession of my wallet, I forgot my wallet, this is a bad thing. Remember to bring your wallet. 
always happens to me. Usually, I don't like to have my phone on me if I'm going for walks. I like to leave my phone at home. But inevitably, mm, there will be something cool that I want to take a picture of. I'm like, oh man, I don't have my phone on me. So I didn't bring my phone. I can't take a picture of it. No Instagram for me. Um, another way that we use on me in slang is to blame someone. Let's say you do something wrong and you want to admit to people, say, oh, you know, that's on me. I did that. It's my fault. It's my mistake. And you can also blame other people. Um, if you say it's all on me, it means it's my fault. But I can say that's on you. Okay. That means that's, I'm saying it's your fault or that's on him. That's, that's his problem. You'll hear that a lot in relationship movies. Like that's on him. He, he owes you an apology. <laughs> Literally. Okay. Is if something's on me, like a drink, it means it's physically on your body. So on me, I am wearing, I have a beautiful bracelet. So it's physically on my body. I'm wearing glasses. Glasses are on me. And <gasps> the last one, I'm on it. Don't worry about it. I got this. This means I'm doing the task or I'm doing the work that needs to be done. So I'm on it. Don't worry. So your boss will say, hey, come on, you have to do this. Like, I'm on it, lady. I've already started the task. I'm doing the task. But instead of saying, I'm doing this already, we say, I'm on it. It's shorter, faster. Literally, right? If you're on something, that means that your body is physically on top of something. So I'm on the table. I'm not, but if I was, I would say I'm on the table. And Ronnie's favorite, mm, get it on. Bang it gong, get it on. Who sings that song? I don't know. But if you get it on, huh? mm -hmm. it means you have sex. Yeah. So I encourage everyone to bang a gong, get it on, and I'll see you next time if you're lucky. I'm Ronnie. Bye. If you want to see some more slang lessons, I do them privately. Mm -hmm. Englishwithronnie.com. Check out the website. And I'll see you on the flip side.